I'm Robson Green, actor and extreme fisherman. I've spent the last four years travelling the globe catching fish most anglers only dream of. Then I realised I've probably fished more places for more different species of fish than anyone else in the world. From South America... Oh, my Lord! ...to the South Pacific... That is unbelievable! ...and from teeming rivers... Look at this fish! ...to raging seas... Why not? Why not? I've hunted fish with some of the best in the world. <laughs> but now, I'm going to have to be better. Let battle commence. In my new fishing adventure, I'm travelling the world to battle the best. Oh, it's a monster! And win. 68. Seven to me! <laughs> Come on, you dumbasses. Every week, it's a different location with the same extreme challenge. Five rounds of competitive fishing against some of the best anglers that nation has to offer. I thought we had a relationship. I thought we were friends. No friends in war. To win, I'll need to catch the most. Revenge will be sweet, my friend. The biggest. You're going to be in trouble. And the best. That's extreme! I've already fished the world. This time, it's one Geordie against the world. So I better hope I've learned something. This <laughs> is extreme. Oh, my Lord. Fishing. <laughs> this week, I'm taking on America's Great Lakes. It's the largest expanse of fresh water on Earth, and I'm out to beat its fishermen. <laughs> With over 10,000 miles of coastline and one-fifth of the world's surface fresh water, it makes for an epic battleground. It may be a daunting task, but the anglers of the Great Lakes better watch out. To get there, it's a 4,000-mile journey to the state of Michigan, slap-bang in the middle of the lakes. The Americans think they've got something special here, but they haven't met me yet. The underdog against the superpower. Let the fun and games begin. My first fishing challenge is on a lake I've never heard of, Lake St. Clair. But in it swims a fish known as the wolf of the water, the muskie. And I'm told this could be the best spot in the world to find them. Good morning. To see if that's true, I'm meeting up with two top muskie fishermen. One's my opponent, and the other's his dad. Good morning, Robson. How are you? Pleasure to meet you. Now, I don't want to offend anyone. Because to me, you look like brothers. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so oh, oh. You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I took care of myself, he did. <laughs> I had more fun than he did. <laughs> Chuck Smith Jr. He spent his life fishing Lake St. Clair and is ex-president of the Muskie Club. He holds the record for the longest ever caught here. And I've heard he's the undisputed expert. Is it true, basically, muskie is just a, a large pike? Well, it's in the same family, mm -hmm. but they're not the same. Muskies get bigger. Yeah. So tell me, Chuck Jr., why do people go after the muskie? Once you do this, it's all over. Is it? Everything else is bait. So we're after the famous muskies of Lake St. Clair. Longest fish wins. Even at nearly 500 square miles, Lake St. Clair isn't officially a great lake. But it looks pretty good to me. Chuck Senior will be at the wheel as we're fishing, and we're putting out ten lines. That's five apiece. OK, which side are you going to take, Chuck? I'll leave it to you. Oh, leave it to me? Yeah. You tell me which side catches the most fish. They're both. 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 OK, I'm going to go port. With all these lures around, I can see Chuck Junior knows he's fishing. Either they're handmade, or he loves a bit of fancy dress. Never in my days have I seen a lure like that. You can't buy those in the shop. No. But surely, with all my fishing experience, I can win this. Got one on. Got a fish on. Whoa. Ah, Chuck has just banged into a fish. But he's got a slight advantage over me at the moment because he's got all his lines out. I don't know if you can know, but there's a wide open space here. Back home, there would be a steward's inquiry. There's another one. And there's another one on. Funny that, because all your lines are out, aren't they, Chuck? Come on. I'm going to have to give you a <laughs> We haven't even had time to set all the lines out, and we've got a double header. <laughs> How fantastic. There you go. Oh, another one. Another one. This one. Look at this. Oh, my Lord, we have got three fish on. <laughs> I tell you what, this is a first, Chuck. Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> <laughs>
We are only 60 seconds in and we need help from Chuck Senior to land these fish. I mean, look at that for a specimen. That is an absolute stunner. Kind of chaotic round here. Oh, how is that for the biggest one? Sadly, I didn't catch it because it was Chuck Junior's <laughs> rod. But let me show you. How's about that for a start? Three fish in 60 seconds. And you are looking at one of the finest examples of the pike family. He was just lying in wait there, saw one of Chuck Jr.'s beautifully designed lures and took off like a Polaris missile. That has to be one of the most extreme starts to any of our angling adventures. And there's more to come. Stay tuned. Round here they catch and release, so these fish will go back in the water. But first, I've got to get one of my own. Chuck Jr. has just put my first line out. The lure's 10 seconds in the water. Wallop! As soon as I set eyes on these fellas, I knew we were in for a good day. I've got to beat the biggest of Chuck's three. OK, wrap some plum up. There we go. Well netted, sir. Oh, 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 Chuck! Look at the size! Come on! OK, so what's going to happen with this monster? We're just going to put him in the box, just let him calm down a bit, then we're going to measure him. Chuck's biggest was three feet long. Can this beat it? 43 inches. It can. Look at that. That's more than three and a half feet. But these muskies can grow up to five. I want to do better. OK, you're going to have to show me... And now's my chance. Oh, yeah. This could be the biggest of today. you got a winner there. You reckon? I think so. He's taking out a hell of a lot of light, and he's fighting deep. He's a little bigger one. Wow. Get him in that day. All right. looking at 30 pounds plus of one of the finest ambush predators in the world. Check out the forend here. I don't know if you can make out those grooves, but they're kind of sight lines for the muskie. It's in all pike, and they use them like the crosshairs on telescopic sights on a rifle. They line the prey up and they just accelerate into it. He's numero uno, and today he could be the one that wins it. He's gone back in. At an inch over four feet, it's the winner so far. With an hour to go, Chuck is being beaten by a rookie. I bet he's wondering what else could go wrong for him. Oh, shit! And here's his answer. Where did this come from? It's a violent storm to him, but a lucky break for me. Let's see him catch now. His tail's gone, it's... With this weather, we won't catch a bigger fish today. So it's Robson 1, Great Lakes, nil. You, sir, are one steely-eyed angler. <laughs> there you go. As is your dad. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck Senior. You're welcome. Thank you very bro. much. Good job. Round two is taking me somewhere unexpected. The city of Detroit, Michigan. It's the traditional home of American heavy industry, where Henry Ford built his first car. But with industry in decline, people have been leaving town. This used to be prime suburbia. There used to be houses everywhere. And it's mostly just grassland. And the old house you do see is either burned down or abandoned. Decades of heavy industry affected the fishing as well. In the Detroit River, fish populations suffered badly from pollution. But now the cleanup is well underway, and these days there's all sorts of fish to be found right in the city. So I'm going urban fishing against a man who has the dirty job of cleaning up the rivers. He was raised here in the neighborhood of Delray. Danny? Yep. Robson. Robson? Nice, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Danny Newsom. He's fished here all his life. 
He knows every inch of the Detroit River, and he spends so much time on it, he's been called the Huckleberry Finn of Delray. Do you feel like I've walked onto a, a film set of some post-apocalyptic movie? Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's already set up for one. Is this your old stomping ground? Yeah. Yes, this is my old house. This is where I grew up at, actually. So your folks and family still around here? Yes. My yeah. mom knows house. There's a yellow house over there now. What, your mum's still here? Yes. She won't leave. She, why won't she leave? Because she's been here pretty much all of her life. Mm -hmm. And she said she won't start over unless she's forced to. Hence the saying, home is where the heart is, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And for, someone, and for someone like yourself who loves fishing, mm -hmm. you know, where around here do you go to cast a line, seriously? Well, you got the Detroit River down here a couple blocks. Mm -hmm. I usually take my boat out there, go for walleye, perch, bass. Well, I never thought I'd say it with a backdrop like this, but um, should we go fishing? Yes, definitely. OK. Show me what goes on around here. We're after whatever we can find on the Detroit River. And today, the winner will be the one who catches the most species. It's fair to say I've fished in more idyllic settings. We must be mad. I know there's musky in here and there's pike. What other species we got in here? We got largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, rock bass, perch. We got sheephead. We got sturgeon. Actually spawns right through Zug Island right here. It's our spawning grounds. Of all the places you want to come and mate, you come here. Our fishing spot is in the shadow of some historic steelworks. People like Danny may be cleaning this river up, but I don't think they've finished yet. I'll be really interested to see what comes up today. I tell you what, that cannot be good for you. Maybe we'll catch some kind of giant mutant. Oh, something interested there, is it? Perhaps. Had a bit of action there, Danny. Lad from Newcastle had the first nibble. No, I just got a bite. Just got a hit. Well, we've had one hit each. But don't worry. I've got a feeling it's all going to kick off very soon. I couldn't be more wrong. The fish aren't biting, and we're moving to a nearby channel. Well, we've got an impressive backdrop, Danny. You're very good company. All that's missing from this perfect scenario is a, a fish. fish. <laughs> yes! I'm in! Oh, you got a rock I bass? I don't know what you're laughing at, Danny, because it is a species of fish. Uh, it's a rock bass. It's a rock bass? Yep. Well, it ain't no giant mutant. But that small fella there has put me into the lead. Could be a winner. I'd be a worried man if I was you, Danny. And there's more. Yep. Oh, That's a better take. <sighs> Ooh, Danny! Danny, Danny! Oh, nice. The man who knows this river like the back of his hand. Oh, Danny, what are you doing? Are you copying my method? Is that a perch? That's a perch. No. That's a perch. Is that a perch? Yeah, it's a perch. It may be small, but it is a different species of fish. And I'm two up. Now, what were you saying? I think mine's a little bigger than yours. Oh. Oh, that is a nice fish. There's your bigger rock bass. Well, this mutant monster hunt is turning into Clash of the Tiddlers, but it's 2-1 to me. <laughs> yeah, joking aside, Danny, that's a very healthy fish. None of them have got three heads so far, so it's a good sign. I would like something bigger, and that means another new spot. But I'm not sure it's going to be any more successful. Well, look at this. What's that? That's a goby. That is not a fish. That is a goby. Ah, uh, whatever. That, that's a different count. species. So that we're tied. That? That's the goby. I can't believe it. The USA have drawn with a fish two and a half inches long. It's 2-2. Two, two. All to play for. Okay. Enough of the joking. Enough of the messing around. Okay. I'm here to fish. I'm okay. here to compete. Three and a half thousand miles. OK, stay on your side. OK. <laughs> Damn. Well, the competition may be surreal, but at least I'm in good company. So tell me, Danny, working in pollution control, you must have pulled some strange things out the Rouge River in your time. What's yes. the weirdest thing that's ever come out of this water? A young white female. What? A young white female. Actually, it was... Um, what, a dead body? Dead body. It was right after winter, when all the ice started breaking. Pulled it up, actually, down there where we started drifting at. 
I don't want to kind of pull her body out of the water because I don't know if her arm would have fell off or anything. She was in there quite a while. Yeah. Have you pulled anything out that's made you laugh? <laughs> yeah, fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it really made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, I wish we could do it now. Do you think you work in pollution control because subconsciously you want to clean the river up so you can fish? No. No? Oh. So much for the cod psychology. But with 20 minutes to go, at least my fishing skills are paying off. We are into something really yeah. good here, sir. There's two of them there's there. There's two of them there. There's two of them. That's a big bass. They're rock bass, huh? That's a big bass. No, that's a largemouth. Get your lure away from these fish. They're mine. It is another species, and if I can land it, I'll take the lead. I don't want to lose this. You, you got the net. Pass me the net. Oh, he's off. Oh, you fucker. Oh, fuck, no. Why you bring him up? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, because that was a nice smallmouth. Ah, shit, bollocks. That was real nice. Oh, two to two still. What? It's we're what? St we're still tied. What do you mean it's still tied? You didn't land it. That you gotta... in itself was a win. Listen, we're in US. The fish was you there. You got to land it on the boat. Back home, we call that a distance release, no, all right? Gotta... I caught it, I released it in the water. Yeah. Conservation just like the best. other, Just like the other clip I seen, it was talking about, yeah, here's your arm. Uh, Robeson's great catch and release. It was like slip right out of your hand after you caught it. Went right all right, back all right, all right. Now, now, now hold that it. was a catch. insult at me. That was a catch and release. Yeah. I thought we had a relationship. I thought we were friends. I thought <laughs> the USA and Britain had a special relationship. It did. It's not on display here, is it? I caught that fish. You caught it, but you got to land it. With 10 minutes to go, there's nothing else for it. I'll just have to win this one fair and square. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. You got the net. Seriously, I've got another hey, decent fish on here. I do not want to lose him. Oh, you got the net here? Oh. Oh. Come on, you got the net. Seriously. Keep him down, keep him down. Oh, come on, keep down. Oh, sheep head. What's Wait. that? Sheep head. Not only is it a sheep head, that's the winner. I'm yep. so pleased. This freshwater drum, or sheephead, as it's known here, would normally be great to eat. But in these waters, well, maybe not. Congratulations, man. That is a bonny fish. Look at those colours. It's like mother of pearl. But most of all, that fish you're looking at there is the winner. <laughs> Yay! Do you know what? Yeah, man. In fishing, it's not about the size of the fish, it's about the experience. Mm -hmm. And the location's been quite an experience, but I tell you, you are one of the finest fellas I've ever met when it's come to fishing. It's been a pleasure to Thanks. meet you, matey. Pleasure to meet you. That was a good competition. Pleasure to meet you too. That was great. That sheep head puts me well ahead. It's Robson 2, Great Lakes nil. While the rivers seem to be benefiting from industrial decline, the same can't be said for Detroit itself. The streets feel more like Gotham City than Motor City. Even the majestic Central Station is a ruin. Unbelievable. But what can a fisherman do about such things? Even an extreme one like me? Well, I can always dream. Robson Green, actor, fisherman, superhero. When the city sleeps, he comes. to fight crime with his rod and tackle. He is the Fisherman. He watches over the innocent. That's it! Come on, let's walk. When there's crime, ah! be a while, pal. he's there. One second, ma'am. Taking crooks with hooks. We're in. Thank you, man. Yeah, but who are you? I'm the fisherman. There's no catch and release with. The fisherman. 
I'm fishing the Great Lakes in the USA. I'm trying to beat the locals on their home turf. And I'm on a winning streak. So <laughs> winner, I'm yeah. so... So far, it's 2-0 to me. Now I'm headed off country into the wilds of Michigan. I'm off to Lake Huron, second largest of the Great Lakes and the third biggest on Earth. Not that I'm going to see much of it, because we're going out in the dark. It's hunting and fishing country, and I'm up against a couple of lads who look pretty country. Evening, fellas. How you doing? How are you doing tonight? Robson. Nice to meet you. What's your name? TJ. TJ, pleasure yep. to meet you. Joe Savona. Joe Savona. TJ Wilson and Joe Saboda. They're bow fishing champions. They've each won the biggest bow fishing contest in the USA. And I've heard they started young. They've been bow fishing since they were in short pants. Now remind me, what are we doing on this idyllic evening tonight? What species are we going after? Carp, Look. common carp. Or common common carp. carp. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And are there big carp out there? The biggest one I've seen taken out of here was 42 pounds. 42? Yeah. So let's make it interesting tonight. How does this sound? You're only allowed to shoot three carp, and it's the collective weight of the fish that wins. So heaviest box wins. Heaviest box? Yeah. Sounds good. And I've heard a vicious rumor that you two young whippersnappers think you can whip this English guy's ass, I've heard. <laughs> There's a good chance of it. Yeah, There's a good chance, you reckon? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, well, how's this for a forfeit? The winner gets to whip the loser's ass, literally. Sounds good. Yeah? I picked a stick. <laughs> <laughs> the battle begins. We'll see. So we're each trying to catch three Lake Huron carp. Heaviest haul wins. And I don't want to talk about the forfeit. Carp are infamous for crowding out other species. Here they need to be cold to let the others thrive. And if I'm going to help the effort, I'd better get in some practice. Now say I just come across a carp, do I aim below the fish, above the fish, or just at the fish? Right below it. Right below it. Oh, fucking hell. There's <laughs> only one person going to get their ass whipped tonight. <laughs> I'm up against both these guys, but thankfully, one at a time. Right here. Oh, oh, right Stay there, down. right there. There's it. Shots up. Now that is impressive. Good hit. I couldn't even see it. He just went fish, wham, bang, it's in the box. That happened within 0.5 of a second. Usually what happens is, oh, look what we've caught. I then talk about it, and then we put it in the box. All right, TJ, now it's my turn. Where is he? <sighs> just missed him. I can see what I need to do. Oh, God! But actually doing it is something completely different. Robson! There's a carp up here on my right. Oh, did you get him? Oh, yeah. What a fantastic shot. I mean, I, I was going to go for that fish there, but I, I let TJ have it. does not keep you awake, this method of fishing. You're kind of active and focused all the time. It kind of brings the hunter-gatherer out in you. There's a carp right there shooting. What? There's a carp here? Sorry. Oh, you bugger! It's not looking good. Oh, how embarrassing. Oh, shot. And that's TJ's third and last carp. Three good ones to my fat zero. But it's not over yet. I can humiliate myself in front of Joe as well. Right there. Right over him. <sighs> See? Just like that. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Good shot, Joe. Yeah, my bucket, like my trophy cabinet, empty. Is that a car? Yeah, that's a car. I'm getting the shots in. Is that a one? Yeah. But no hits yet, and Joe only needs one more fish. Oh, shot, sir. If he gets it to the boat, I've lost. He came off? Yeah. Ah, oh, oh dear, how sad. Never mind. <laughs> With Joe firing them off every minute, I've got one chance to pull this back. Come on, Robson. Carpe diem. 
That's Latin for seize the carp. Oh, God, Robson, man, how did you miss that, you ninny? I need to be put out of my misery. There's that one that got off. And a dead fish does the honours. That fish that Joe hit and lost has now been found. That is three, and it's all over. Tonight, I've been truly thrashed. Three and a half thousand miles for this. Public humiliation. Speaking of which, it's forfeit time. You want the honors? Yep. Ah! What a pain. That's Robson 2, Great Lakes 1. But I need to put a brave face on that spanking and move on. My destination is the little known Otsego Lake. And to fish it, I need to stay over in the sleepy local town of Gaylord. Yeah, ticky tiki ticky tiki I've been to some weird spots chasing fish before, but an alpine village in the Great Lakes tops the lot. Apparently, back in the 60s, some bright spark thought giving the town an alpine theme might bring in some tourist dollars. And inconceivably, it's worked. It's only 8 o'clock in the evening, and they're going to get very... After some very strange dreams featuring Lederhosen, my fishing challenge can continue. I'm after a very unusual fish, the Lake Sturgeon. And around here, this is the guy to beat. Morning, Squire. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing, Robson? Pleasure to meet you, Joe. Pleasure to meet you, too. Joe Verducci. He's been fishing Lake Sturgeon for 10 years. His biggest was nearly the size of me. And he's so good, the locals call him Sturgeon Joe. So why is this such a good place for sturgeon? The, uh, the State Department released the fish in here, a stocking program, mm -hmm. and they put over 16,000 fish in Dodd Seagull Lake. And they're, they're doing really well. Mm -hmm. The fish are growing big, about four inches a year. If you're in about 10 more years, we'll have a good population of fish in this lake. Now, I've traveled 4,000 miles for this competition, Joe. Okay. How, how does this sound? First fisherman to get a sturgeon on the boat is the winner. Sounds good to me. Sounds very good to me. All righty. We're after the Lake Sturgeon up at Seago Lake. These are rare catches, so first fish on the boat wins. Compared to the Great Lakes, Otsego is tiny, not even five miles long. But it's one of the few places in the world where I can catch this fish. It might not be one of the Great Lakes, but it sure is pretty. Yeah. We're going to be fishing just by the shore, and we're using the simplest of baits, worms. I have to say, it has a very small hook. What is a very large fish? The four lines, two each, will lie at the bottom of the lake, where hopefully they'll be discovered by a passing sturgeon. And the take will be really steady and deliberate. It'll not be boom, boom. It'll just be boom. Just taking it away. And as it's taking it away, we just tighten the tension up, and then we set the hook. It's a lovely spot here, and just as well. Waiting for a sturgeon to bite, can take a while. Right, lines are set. All we can do now, sit back and wait. <laughs> Joe seems fine with the waiting, but patience has never been my virtue. I can see that catching a lake sturgeon is going to take a special kind of skill. Do you know how to play I Spy, Joe? Yes. Okay, okay. I spy, with my little eye, something beginning with N-S. The 
can't see that well. N.S. Do you give up? I give up. No sturgeon. Oh, you're killing me. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient. I will. That's why she's rods. Anytime. 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 Yeah. Welcome to extreme fishing. Extremely quiet fishing. They all having a good time. Unlike a couple of guys I know. Yeah. Yeah. But any time now. Any time. This is a good day. Yeah, it's, it's a good day. I'd hate to be on a bad day with you, Jeff. I know it. Yeah? You should meet my mother-in-law. <laughs> After hours of this, time has become an irrelevant concept. Clearly, Joe's happy with just being out of the house. But I'm losing my mind. <sighs> Been fishing for nearly seven hours, Joe. How much longer we got? We can keep on going. Yeah? Be patient. Be patient? Be patient. Sure. It could take days. I haven't got days. I've got a bass fishing competition tomorrow. Any time now. I'm mentally preparing to swim ashore. You reckon it could take days, do you, Joe? It could be days. I haven't got days, Joe. Any time now, Robson. You got one. Hang on a minute. Did he just say what I think he said? We got one? Have we got something. Yeah, we're in. We are in. The waiting is over. Yep, it's a sturgeon. Yep. yep. It certainly is, sir. <laughs> I don't believe it. Honest, I was just about to leave. He's not big. I, I... But more importantly, Joe, he's on my rod. That's OK. We'll share the wealth. <laughs> Sturgeon Joe! Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Unbelievable! Yeah. The lake sturgeon. They drag those barbels over the ground and they come across the bait. They then suck it up in that extraordinary mouth, expose all the debris through the gills there and leaves the food remaining in the mouth. An extraordinary, complex, prehistoric fish. Isn't that beautiful? It may have tested my patience, but in the end, Lake Sturgeon has made my day. Oh, that, in my book of angling, is what we call a winner. Yep. It's Robson 3, Great Lakes 1. What a result. I'm sorry I doubted you. I don't think you did. No, I, I did a bit. Yeah, yeah, I told you it was any time now. It was any time. Any time. Any time. And that was the time. It was quite a long time, yep. but it was any time. It was just time. We can just keep going on. We can. Time after time. <laughs> and again. Cue the song. I'm in America's Great Lakes on the fishing challenge of a lifetime. So far, I've outfoxed the opposition. That is what we call a winner. Yeah. And it's put me 3 1 up. For my last challenge, I'm at an official competition, taking on the region's best young anglers for one of North America's favorite game fish smallmouth bass. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to uh, National Guard College Fish. And remember, you're on FLW Live. This looks a little bit hardcore. I'm up against the college bass circuit. That's 42-man teams made up of potential pros. The winners today will get $10,000, so they take it very seriously. We'll have a quick prayer. Father, what a beautiful morning. I'm just praying I don't make a prod of myself. With me being just above college age, I'm not in the running for the cash, but I really want to see if I can cut it. My teammate is 23-year-old student Andrew Smith. He's won 10 bass fishing tournaments, and after graduating, he's planning to turn professional. At last, my partner in crime. <laughs> Andrew. Welcome to Detroit. <laughs> Thank you, Robson. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise, likewise. Hey, Andrew, I don't know about you, but I, uh, I, I fish to relax. And I've never been so nervous in all my life. Ah, uh, welcome to tournament fishing. <laughs> Look forward to it. Come on. We're catching smallmouth bass today on the Detroit River. To win my fishing challenge, out of 40 boats, I must finish in the top 10. We're after as many bass as we can get, but we'll only keep the biggest five. 
I'm already feeling the pressure. And so is my buddy. Let the line fall. Okay, I got you. Like that. Oh, okay. keep the spool open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. keep it on the bottom. Let the line fall out. Uh -huh. Would you promise me one thing today, Drew? I'm not promising you anything. Just don't shout at me. <laughs> don't shout at you? Yeah, don't shout at me. I can see Drew's going to be checking my every move. This is like a fishing exam. Oh, I've never been so nervous in all my life. So how long have you been competing for, Drew? Uh, nine years, since I was 15. Yeah? And what's your ambition, to turn pro? I want to be elite. You want to be what, sorry? Elite. You want to be elite? You want to be the best of the best? Yeah. See, you're very, very focused, young man. But we older men can be focused as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. <sighs> We're in here. We are in. It's a bloody decent size, I tell you, man. Do you think this is hey, a Okay, put your rod towards me. Okay, sir. Keep coming, keep hey, coming. Drew, hey, Drew. Go my way, my way. First Drew, one that is first one. In you're stuck, man. You're making me feel. Now feel. No, we're pumping. Oh, yeah, now everybody's watching. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's tournament fishing that, right there, that, buddy. That is a decent sized fish. We'll take it. That's a 14 inch, man. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. Well, that fella there is called a smallmouth bass. And he's a healthy fella. Just check out the olive haunches there, the very faint black vertical stripes, and the beautiful bronze caudal fin there. And Drew was excited as I was. <laughs> Excellent. One down, four to go. Hey. I don't feel insecure and inadequate anymore, yeah. Drew. Oh, I'm so happy. I can now just relax and enjoy the day. Oh, I've caught a fish. It's a keeper. You in? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, shit, I was... I was, I was... There it is, right? You got him? You got him? Oh, man. Nice job, baby. We're rocking, dude. We are rocking. You're kind of looking at the dream team here. Drew, you're going to want me to travel around the world with you. You know, we call ourselves, you know, Drew and Robson, but mainly Robson and Drew, because, yeah. you know, it, it's kind of, it, the billing would work that much better. We're motoring to the next spot, and we're feeling good. I've opened the scoring, and the force is strong in this one, too. Not only is Andrew a Jedi Knight of fast fishing, at the moment he's coming across as Jensen Button. We are absolutely flying. Is a good spot? We'll find out. Yeah. We're at the mouth of Lake Erie, another great lake for me to tick off. That's a sight you don't see every day when you're fishing for bass. It's an old carrier. Yeah, we're in. Come on, man. Don't let me down, Drew. Okay, we've got a malfunction on the net. Take it easy, take it easy. That means Drew has to land it by hand. Don't do it, don't fucking do it. Oh yes, nothing can stop us. That's two for you, buddy. It's competition time! That's three. That is an absolute beauty. And what's more, they keep coming. That's good net. Good net. Oh, it's bad, it's bad. We're in. I'm doing all the catching. Yeah. The biggest one of the day. We're beginning to get seriously excited. Drew loves me because I'm on fire. Yes! Oh, he's on the other side of the boat. It's all right. I've got the bug. I've got the bass bug. With 20 minutes to go, it's back to our first spot. Drew reckons that with a couple more big ones, we could even win this thing. That was a good take. And I'm straight on again. Bring it forward, feet. With a cracker. Oh, my God, that is the winning oh, boost. Oh, 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 oh. That, back home, is what you call a stonker. Is that a winning fish, then? There, 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 might have done it. Let's go ahead and bring our next team up. It's going to be UW Whitewater. As the teams bring in their bass, our bags are looking heavier than most. All right, let's see what you got here, guys. Eight pounds and 13 ounces. I reckon we'll beat that. Remember, for me to win this challenge, we've got to be in the top 10 teams. Let's go ahead and bring up our next team. Our next team is going to be representing Extreme Fishing. 
We're not in the official competition because I'm not a college student, but I'm desperate to see how we've done compared to these potential pros. Good looking fish, Sailor Officer. There you go. Go ahead and weigh him in at 14 pounds and five ounces. Wow. That should be enough to get us in the top 10, and we could actually win it. But these guys look like they've done well too. Wow, look at there, folks. Good looking back and fish. But will they take the win? 17 pounds and 12 ounces. They do. But all the same, I'm happy. I mean, Kansas if we State. hadn't been entered officially, we would have come second. Second in my first ever bass competition. I want to definitely recognize our extreme fishing. If they would have been in this event, they would have took second place. If I'd had one bigger fish and a student card, we would have had a cracking payday. Not bad. I was three pounds away from getting that. <laughs> we haven't won, but we're in the top ten, and the point is mine. It's Robson 4, Great Lakes 1. In this freshwater paradise, I've seen amazing things. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I've made some great buddies. <laughs> Sturgeon Show. And taken them on in some unbelievable places. That can it be good for you. I may have had one whipping, but I've beaten the Americans with a cracking win. Who am I? I'm the fisherman.